You've seen this diagram a lot, so let's use it to tie together all that we know. Anytime you move from right to left on this diagram, you take a negative derivative. For example, the equation relating electric potential energy and force is as shown. And though we haven't yet learned electric field, the same rule applies. If you want to move from bottom to top on the diagram, you simply multiply by charge. So when we talked about point charges, the electrical potential energy of a point charge was given by this equation. Just multiplying potential by Q gives you the electric potential energy. Similarly, if you multiply electric field by Q, you get the force. The same concept apply for the gravity equivalent from last semester. Again, moving from right to left, you take the negative derivative. So the force of gravity is just the negative derivative of gravitational potential energy. Moving from bottom to top, you simply multiply by mass. Gravitational potential times the mass gives you the potential energy. Multiplying g by the mass gives you the force.